at least I take in second gear and you can see a little bit over in the exit the tire is not 100% warm yet and come down to this really difficult section the Hudson Park section and uh, this is really fast here up in fifth gear you can see the, the gears here and then down to third for this section um, and the car is really really grippy here and uh, you can take a lot of speed as well as I can cut the curb here on the inside very very good and you can see how stable the car really is and this is something we work very hard on actually as well as here completely over the curb the car keeps really stable on the ground with the wheels attached and now um, it gets really fast we come up to 50 approaching the famous Flugplatz um, and the car is, is really really stable here you can see it's it's not taking off much and the speed's really high and uh, we take it in fifth gear usually in the gtr this is taken in fourth gear but with the gtr nismo now with the, with the high level of downforce we can actually take it into it and now here we come up to 285 kilometer per hour over that the famous schweden Koritz, down to fifth for this left hander really 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 fast and one of the most dangerous areas and then here it, it's a bit better, a uh, little bit time to breathe for that right-hander. And then again, um, a lot of stress here down to the Fuchsroer, which is crazy, crazy fast. You can see again, we go up fifth and then to sixth. And this left-hander, so compression, I take completely flat. And uh, this was really the, the forces that were here on the crazy. You can see my head going down. And then I was a bit confused here. And then I was a bit too fast here in here. And I went too much to the left here, as you can maybe see. And I, I didn't really get that corner here very good which was a bit uh, disappointing and then I hit the curb here on the exit which is actually not on purpose. That was actually me personally it takes big times here this is the first sector for me personally and uh, it was already faster than we've done before so I was actually on a, on a, on a good time I knew that but um, I knew exactly that we're only two minutes in now that there's still a long a long way to go and the pressure that we had to, to the target time to break the seven, 10 seconds was very, very high and uh, we were working really, really hard and this was one shot, it was at the end of the day and um, now it was, I had to really reduce the time. So there was a lot of pressure, it was not just like a, a lap for fun. This is the slowest part of the track, second year, you can see the traction is fantastic, we can hear the second immediately flat out. Also something we worked very hard on actually to, to get the power distribution right, to get a really good balance of it. It's one of my favorite uh, parts actually. We're up now, we're approaching the bird work, now coming to the left hander and the kill out and it's been accident the left hand king. Very fast, this is flat in fifth gear, but it's really really pumpy and fast. You can see the pumps here and the car brakes really well here for bird work. And here I'm really early in the throttle, really important for left hand here. Come to the second spin down here, 314. Um, this was the best we've had, I think we've seen. Um, and uh, this was really encouraging. I think we came out and made no mistake. Again, here, very fast, very dangerous left hander here. Also flat, just flat. You can see the bump, the car almost jumps to the grass. Very, very risky section. And um, of course, as a driver, these sections are when the, when the heart rate goes up. And this is the, the, the famous left hander here. Normally, again, fourth gear in the, in the GTR, GTR Nismo, fifth gear, um, over 200 km per hour around that turn. And then it goes at a little bit lower speed, and uh, you can a little bit uh, relax, but not really relax, um, relax from the stress level maybe, but the concentration starts to go now after four minutes in the car. And uh, it's really tough now to, to, to focus and not make any mistakes. Famous carousel here. I take it in third gear, second gear is an option, but the car is more calm in third. Coming up here, and this left hand king is very difficult to drive because it's, it's either a lift or short brake, very complicated, but I, I hit it quite well. Up to the highest point of the track here, in fourth gear, the OE8. And uh, this is actually now my favorite section, starting off the track. Fourth gear, the famous Wibbermann coming here. The car handles extremely well with this with this downforce uh, we have here over the curbs here. Cut shortcut here with the Wibbermann. You can see how it's jumping, in, but it keeps it on the road fantastically. And here the grip level is absolutely amazing as well. Now we approach and get the galleries in the left. 
again here I stay in third gear and uh, maybe you can hear I'm gonna hit the limiter up, up, up here it goes in um, and this is better than shifting up to 10 meters and shifting down more effective here I have to shift up to fourth and back to third so everything's maxed out and here again now we I stay flat on the throttle down here which is also something we, we had to work hard on to, to achieve that it's fifth gear now here down and it's very close on the curve and then a really big jump here the car is completely in the air 